Hello friends, this is Guru and imagine a small island just slightly larger than Maryland. Boasting the 20th largest economy in the world, this isn't a fantasy, it's a reality. And the island in question is Taiwan. Astonishing, isn't it? An island of just 23 million people standing shoulder to shoulder with economic giants. Taiwan's economic prowess is no fluke. It's a fascinating tale of strategic planning, relentless execution, and sheer resilience. The roots of Taiwan's economic journey can be traced back to the post-World War II era. While the world was grappling with the aftermath of the war, Taiwan was busy laying the foundation for a robust economy. It started with labor-intensive industries, gradually shifting to technology-intensive ones, and today, it stands as the world's leading semiconductor manufacturer. What's more, Taiwan's economic growth has been remarkably steady, showing a resilience that many larger and well-established countries could only dream of. In the past decade, its GDP growth rate has consistently outperformed many advanced economies. And this isn't just about numbers. It's about the lives of ordinary Taiwanese people who enjoy a high standard of living, low unemployment, and a vibrant, bustling society. So, how did Taiwan achieve this remarkable feat? Well, it's a combination of wise government policies, a relentless focus on education and skills, and an entrepreneurial spirit that seems to be in the DNA of the Taiwanese people. They've transformed their small island into a global economic powerhouse, a beacon of innovation and technology. While Taiwan's economic success story is awe-inspiring, it's not without its challenges. The island must constantly innovate and adapt to stay ahead in a rapidly changing global economy. But if history is any guide, Taiwan has shown time and again that it's up to the task. Taiwan's meteoric rise in the global economy has not gone unnoticed, particularly by its larger neighbor, China. Its economic prowess has indeed ruffled some feathers and the ripple effects are felt far beyond its shores. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's marvel at the economic miracle that is Taiwan. To understand the present, we must delve into the past. The story of Taiwan's economic ascent is a fascinating one. The origins of Taiwan's economic growth can be traced back to the era of Japanese colonial rule from the late 19th century to the mid 20th century. During this period, Taiwan was transformed from a feudal society into a modern industrial state. The Japanese invested heavily in Taiwan, developing its infrastructure and introducing new industries such as sugar, rice, and camphor. This set the stage for Taiwan's future economic growth. Following World War II, Taiwan was returned to China. However, the Chinese Nationalist Party, also known as the Kuomintang, fled to Taiwan following their defeat in the Chinese Civil War. Once there, they initiated a series of economic reforms. The land reform program redistributed land from the wealthy elites to the peasants, leading to increased agricultural productivity and a more equitable society. The Kuomintang also implemented the Import Substitution Industrialization Strategy, which aimed to reduce foreign dependencies by promoting domestic industries. This strategy led to the development of light industries such as textiles, toys, and shoes. By the 60s, Taiwan was known as one of the four Asian tigers, along with Hong Kong, Singapore, and South Korea, due to its rapid industrialization and high growth rates. However, the real game changer came in the 80s with the advent of the high-tech industry. Taiwan's government realized the potential of this sector and launched the Silicon Island Project. They invested heavily in education and research, fostering a highly skilled workforce. They also set up the Isinchu Science Park, a hub for high-tech companies. This strategic move paid off as Taiwan became a global leader in semiconductor manufacturing. In the 90s, Taiwan underwent another significant transformation. The government liberalized the economy, allowing more foreign investment and deregulating various industries. They also pursued a policy of go south, encouraging businesses to invest in Southeast Asia. This opened up new markets for Taiwanese companies and further boosted the economy. The new millennium 
saw Taiwan facing the challenges of globalization. However, they were able to adapt and thrive. They leveraged their technological prowess to move up the value chain, focusing on high-end electronics and precision machinery. They also diversified their economy, developing sectors such as biotechnology, green energy, and creative industries. Today, Taiwan stands as a global industrial powerhouse. It is the world's leading manufacturer of semiconductors, a critical component in our digital age. It is also a major player in the fields of electronics, machinery, and petrochemicals. Furthermore, Taiwan has been successful in transitioning to a knowledge-based economy with a strong emphasis on innovation and research. This extraordinary growth trajectory has led Taiwan to become a key player in the global economy. While Taiwan's economic success is a cause for celebration for many, it's a source of unease for others, particularly China. Imagine a dragon, powerful and majestic, ruling over vast lands. Now, imagine a smaller, agile creature growing stronger by the day, right under the dragon's nose. That's essentially the story of Taiwan and China with Taiwan's economic rise causing more than a little discomfort for the dragon. The economic rivalry between Taiwan and China isn't a new phenomenon. It's been brewing for years. But with Taiwan's recent economic success, the pot is beginning to boil over. As Taiwan grows stronger economically, it's gaining the confidence to assert itself politically, much to the chagrin of China. This economic growth isn't just about numbers on a balance sheet. It's about influence, power, and autonomy. Taiwan's economic success allows it to strengthen its international relationships, further consolidate its political identity, and crucially, reduce its economic dependence on China. China, meanwhile, isn't too thrilled about this. Taiwan's economic independence threatens China's long-standing claim over the island. As Taiwan becomes more self-sufficient, it becomes less susceptible to China's economic coercion, undermining China's efforts to pull Taiwan into its sphere of influence. The political implications of Taiwan's economic growth are immense. It's not just about Taiwan and China. It's about the balance of power in the region and indeed the world. Taiwan's economic success strengthens its position on the international stage, giving it a louder voice in global affairs. But let's not forget, the dragon isn't one to back down easily. China's discomfort with Taiwan's economic prowess is causing it to flex its own economic and political muscles, leading to increased tensions and uncertainties in the region. So as we celebrate Taiwan's economic success, let's not lose sight of the broader implications. Taiwan's economic rise isn't just a story of prosperity. It's a story of power, politics, and a dragon's discomfort. China's discomfort with Taiwan's economic prowess is indicative of the complex political dynamics in the region. The economic narrative between Taiwan and China is not just about dollars and cents. It's deeply intertwined with politics and history. The Taiwan-China relationship has always been complex with its roots deeply entrenched in the turbulent history of the two nations. Following the end of the Chinese Civil War in 1949, the defeated nationalists retreated to Taiwan, establishing it as a separate political entity from mainland China. This political divergence marked the beginning of the tension between the two nations, a tension that has been further amplified by Taiwan's recent economic prosperity. Despite China's insistence on the One China policy, which asserts that Taiwan is an inalienable part of its territory, Taiwan has managed to carve out its own identity, both politically and economically. The island nation's impressive economic growth has not only challenged China's geopolitical ambitions, but has also raised questions about the validity of the One China policy. Taiwan's booming economy, characterized by advanced technology industries and a thriving entrepreneurial spirit, has started to unsettle the mainland. The island's economic independence has the potential to embolden its political independence, a scenario that China is keen to prevent. Taiwan's economic success is not just a matter of pride, but a tool for asserting its sovereignty and standing on the global stage. Moreover, Taiwan's economic growth is not just a local phenomenon. 
it has international implications as well. As more countries become economically dependent on Taiwan, particularly for technology and semiconductors, it becomes increasingly difficult for these nations to ignore Taiwan's sovereignty claims. This puts China's One China policy under even more pressure and creates a geopolitical quandary that is hard to resolve. In this context, Taiwan's economic growth is not just an economic story, but a political one. It challenges the status quo, stirs the undercurrents of tension, and reshapes the power dynamics in East Asia. As Taiwan's economy continues to grow, the tension between these two nations is likely to escalate. The story of Taiwan's economic rise is not just about numbers, it's about determination, innovation, and resilience. We've traced the journey of Taiwan from its humble beginnings to becoming a global economic powerhouse. The timeline of its growth is a testament to the spirit of the island nation, its people, and its leadership. We've also delved into the dragon's discomfort, China's unease with Taiwan's growing influence. The undercurrents of tension between the two have political implications far beyond their borders. This is not just an economic narrative, it's a geopolitical chessboard with each move stirring ripples in international relations. So as we wrap up, remember this, the story of Taiwan's rise is not over, it's an ongoing saga of resilience and economic prowess. As we move forward, the economic landscape of East Asia is set to evolve, with Taiwan continuing to assert its influence and China grappling with its unease. The world watches on with bated breath.